Hello today's video we have the following content. Black Myth Wukong is online, making Zhang Han popular. Looks like Erlang Shen in the game. Erlang Shen and Black Myth Wukong looks like Zhang Han? Netizens are hotly discussing Borna look alike. Here comes the headline party again. This time it's not what you think. Recently, a news that Erlang Shen in the game Black Myth Wukong looks very similar to actor Zhang Han has triggered heated discussions among netizens. Is this a coincidence or is there a deeper connection? Let's find out. Erlang Shen looks like Zhang Han? Netizen, you know what, they really look alike. Some time ago, Black Myth Wukong was a hit in the entire online circle. As a domestic original action game, its graphics and character creation are quite distinctive. The most eye-catching one is Erlang Shen. Look at this majestic face, with heroic spirit between his eyebrows, and look at those eyes, as if they can penetrate everything. Many netizens said that the image of this Erlang Shin is actually a bit familiar. Wait, isn't this Zhang Han? Why do I feel so familiar? It turns out that we have the same face. If Zhang Han plays Erlang Shen, he must be very suitable. His appearance is tailor-made for this role. It seems that netizens have given full marks to the resemblance between these two people. Many people think that if someone really plays Erlang Shen, it must be Zhang Han. Zhang Han's personal image is very consistent with Erlang Shen. Regarding this face-to-face -face incident, many fans have also expressed their opinions. Some people think that such similarity is very interesting, and some people say that if such a performance really happens, Zhang Han should perform very well. Counting Zhang Han's personal image, it is indeed very consistent with the role of Erlang Shen. A head of thick black short hair, a heroic look between the eyebrows, and a handsome face, the appearance is simply tailor-made for this role. You know, Erlang Shen is a mighty heroic and warlike god. Zhang Han has a kind of handsome temperament with his own aura. Whether in film and television works or in daily life, people can feel his unique charm. So if Zhang Han really plays the role of Erlang Shen, I believe it will add a lot of highlights to this role. After all, such a handsome man plays such a brave and warlike god, which will definitely bring a refreshing visual experience to the audience. Netizens speculate whether Zhang Han will play Erlang Shen. However, as of now, Zhang Han himself has not made any response to this matter. However, many fans have begun to speculate whether there will be film and television companies inviting him to play Erlang Shen in the future. If Zhang Han really takes on the role of Erlang Shen, I will definitely support it. It's amazing that these two people look alike. If Zhang Han plays it, I think it will be particularly colorful. Although Zhang Han has not responded yet, if there is such an opportunity, I believe he will perform very well. It seems that netizens are full of expectations and expectations for this matter. Regardless of the final result, this face-to-face -face incident alone is enough to attract widespread attention and heated discussion. Black Myth Wukong made Erlang Shen popular, will it also make Zhang Han popular? In addition to the heated discussions among netizens, this incident also brought up another issue worthy of attention, will the popularity of Black Myth Wukong also make Zhang Han, the actor, more popular? We know that this game has been attracting much attention since its launch. Among them, the image of Erlang Shen, a brave and warlike god, has become an idol in the hearts of many players. Deep good article plan in this face-to-face -face incident between Erlang Shen and Zhang Han has aroused heated discussions. While appreciating the game's art design, many people also said that if Zhang Han played this role, it would definitely give people a refreshing feeling. So, perhaps this is not just a simple face-to-face -face incident. It is very likely that this kind of popularity will also drive the attention of Zhang Han, the actor, to a certain extent. After all, as long as a work or a character receives widespread attention, the related actors will naturally be driven. In general, this black myth, Wukong and Zhang Han's face-to-face -face incident has undoubtedly brought new opportunities to the actor. Regardless of whether there will be actual cooperation in the future, the heated discussions among netizens are enough to make Zhang Han's popularity rise again. Let's wait and see what new developments this incident will bring to the actor. Next news. After Wu Jing learned to be tactful, the supporting actors in the new play all asked for more scenes, and Wu Jing was caught in a dilemma again. When Yuan Heping was preparing for the dart, Wu Jing initially planned to help attract investment, but he did not expect that he would participate more and more later. He not only participated in the performance but also participated in the investment, and even became one of the persons in charge. Due to Wu Jing's high involvement, investors rushed to invest. After Wu Jing declined most of the investors, there were still many investors who could not be refused. After the investors were confirmed, 
these investors started a series of operations. Wu Jing, as a highly watched male star, was once one of the actors with the highest box office in China. His box office appeal in China is undoubtedly very strong. In recent years, Wu Jing's film works have been released less, and the various projects he has prepared have also progressed slowly. When Wu Jing learned that Yuan Heping had obtained the copyright of the domestic animation that Darden was preparing to make it into a film and television, he immediately felt restless. Wu Jing and Yuan Heping have a deep friendship. Wu Jing's first film, Kun Fu Kid, was directed by Yuan Heping. It can be said that Yuan Heping was an important guide for Wu Jing to enter the film and television industry and has always been behind him. Although Wu Jing was caught up with the decline of martial arts movies when he first entered the industry, and he failed to shine in the field of kung fu movies afterwards, he was always grateful and remembered Yuan Heping's support. Therefore, when he learned that Yuan Heping was interested in directing Dart Man, Wu Jing was determined to do his best to help Yuan Heping. Initially, Wu Jing intended to just get some investment for Yuan Heping. Although Yuan Heping's reputation itself was enough to attract investors, being able to find some strong investors was still icing on the cake. However, it didn't take long for Wu Jing's help to stop, but gradually became one of the guest actors. As time went on, Wu Jing's involvement continued to deepen, and eventually he inexplicably became one of the leaders of the project. As a result, Wu Jing, who originally planned to leave after a few days of acting, was completely unable to get out. Therefore, Wu Jing decided to invest money and became one of the main characters. Those investors saw that Wu Jing not only participated in the film himself, but also invested a lot of money, and felt that the Beijing content was extremely amazing. So, they decided to participate in the investment. After all, the last movie that Wu Jing invested so much was The Wandering Earth, a benchmark for domestic science fiction films that shocked the world. Although this new film is adapted from an animation, the film's viewing value has been greatly improved with Wu Jing's participation. At first, investors only asked to inject capital and did not interfere with other matters. However, after the investment was confirmed, some investors found that some supporting roles had not yet been finalized. So they began to recommend their own artists, and even said that they only needed to let their own artists show their faces and say a few lines. If it was the previous Wu Jing, he would definitely not agree to it. However, after these years of experience, he is no longer as sharp as before, acting recklessly and making enemies everywhere. In addition, this play is the work of Yuan Heping after all, and the director did not say anything, so Wu Jing naturally couldn't say much, so investors took the opportunity to arrange their own artists to participate. At first, there were not many people with connections, and the crew could barely cope with it, but as the number of people with connections increased, the film had to temporarily add a few original characters to please the investors. As the project continued to advance, the crew had to seriously examine the role of the characters again. These people all entered through connections, and the bosses behind them were not easy to mess with. After the investors participated in the investment and won the roles for their artists, they began to make more requests, hoping that the roles of the characters would not be too scarce. Now the crew is in trouble. It could have easily dealt with a few seconds of shots, but in order to create a sense of presence for these actors, the crew had to add roles and minds to them. If this project is a TV series, adding a few supporting roles will not have a big impact, but this is a movie, and adding supporting roles will weaken the prominence of the protagonist. In the end, some redundant and difficult to delete shots may be shot, and the original 90-minute movie will inevitably appear a bit scattered because of these new shots. Wu Jing is powerless to do anything about this matter. After all, in the entertainment industry, offending people is to be avoided as much as possible. Therefore, the screenwriters of the crew have to bear additional pressure. They are very angry about this situation and often can't help but joke with their friends that the development of the film is now completely out of their control and depends entirely on the decisions of the investors. They are just tools. When the film is finally released and satisfies the investors, I hope the audience will not accuse them of random adaptations. Although Wu Jing's works have always been fine, coupled with the strong support of Yuan Heping, the intervention of many interveners now makes the final presentation of this film full of uncertainty. It may eventually become a group portrait drama, showing a happy family. It is also possible that Wu Jing will do his best to resist the intervention of these investors and ensure the quality of this martial arts film with the largest investment in recent years. Wu Jing is indeed facing a big challenge this time. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button.
If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,